Welcome to Saint of the Day Mental Prayer for June 23rd with Shalom Kaysen. Today's saint is Saint Audrey. Before we begin, make sure you hit the like and the share button. They are absolutely free with a money back guarantee. So don't be afraid to go ahead and invest in that like and share button. It'll really help me out and it will help others to find and benefit from these videos and podcasts as well. We're going to start with our enlightenment prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My God, I firmly believe that thou art everywhere present and seest all things. Cleanse my heart from all vain, wicked, and distracting thoughts. Enlighten my understanding and inflame my will that I may pray with reverence, attention, and devotion. Around the year 640, there was an English princess named Ethelreda, which is very hard to say, and that's why she was known as Audrey. She married once, but was widowed after three years, and it was said that the marriage was never consummated. She had taken a perpetual vow of virginity, but she married again, this time for reasons of state. Since she was a princess, she needed to get married to a prince so that the families could share their properties and kingdoms and things like that. Her young husband soon grew tired of living as brother and sister and began to make advances on Audrey. She continually refused. He eventually attempted to bribe the local bishop, who was St. Wilfred of York, to release Audrey from her vows, but the bishop would not. He refused and he helped Audrey escape. She fled south with her husband following. They reached a promontory known as Colbert's Head, where heaven uh, sent a seven-day high, high tide rather, to separate the two of them. Eventually, Audrey's husband left and married someone more willing, while Audrey took the veil and found the great abbey of Eli, where she lived an austere life. She eventually died of an enormous and unsightly tumor on her neck, which she gratefully accepted as divine retribution for all the necklaces she had worn in her early years. Throughout the Middle Ages, a festival, St. Audrey's Fair, was held at Eli on her feast day. So a quick recap, St. Audrey was a princess who took a vow of celibacy. She ran from a prince who wanted to have relations with her and eventually became a nun. We're just going to reflect on St. Audrey's life for a short while. Alright, quick recap. St. Audrey was a princess who took a vow of celibacy. She ran from her husband who wanted to have relations with her against her vow and she eventually escaped and became a nun. And we're going to reflect on her life for a few more moments.
All right, we're going to move on to the reflection. Sit quietly and consider this. How can you live holier based on St. Audrey's life? In a quick recap, she was a princess who took a vow of celibacy. She did get married for political reasons, but she let her husband know up front that, you know, they would not be having relations. Uh, her husband didn't like that, so she had to run away and become a nun. How can you live holier based on St. Audrey's example? Quick recap, St. Audrey was a princess who took a vow of celibacy. She got married for political reasons, but she let her husband know up front that they would not be having relations. He didn't like that. He got mad and she had to run away and become a nun. How can you live holier based on St. Audrey's example? All right, we're going to move on to our thanksgiving prayer. Almighty and eternal God, I adore thee and I thank thee for all the benefits which thou in thy infinite goodness and mercy has conferred upon me. In our resolution, the most important part of mental prayer it is very good to read about the lives of the saints, but it is even better to resolve to change our lives based on their examples. That is the purpose of mental prayer. So based on this reflection, you should resolve to avoid every sin you can through the power of our blessed Lord. However, you should especially resolve to avoid one of the seven deadly sins. They are the sins that cause all the other lesser sins. And as I read the list, you can think about which one you've been struggling with lately and which one you would like to avoid. They are as follows. Lust, envy, gluttony, greed, wrath, pride, and sloth. Remember, we must love God first and then our neighbor. That includes our spouses and children. Yes, God comes before them. However, God wants us to care for our spouse and children as well. It is really a juggling game. We must balance our spiritual and physical duties until we can make it to heaven. We can't be too far one way or too far the other. Love God and love neighbor. Do your best and you can't go wrong. Now for our resolution and midday prayer. My God, I offer thee these resolutions. Unless thou deignest to bless them, I cannot be faithful to them. And Lord Jesus Christ, at midday you mounted the cross for our salvation. Give us your light, which will bring us to eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, and God bless. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share. If you're on iTunes, leave me a review. Follow me on social media at ShalomCason1. That's ShalomCason and the number one. Also, go to sdkason.com for daily prayers and quotes. Also, you can support me over there by clicking the Donate tab. You can browse my products and prayer books card games coming very soon. I have a Saints Poker Deck card game coming, which has uh, all your normal ace, jokers, uh, kings, queens. But instead of those pictures, there is an image of a saint and a little information about them. There are mini cards because the mini cards are cheaper to produce. So they're about half the size of a normal poker deck. 
um, waiting on mine to come in the mail. So I will take a video and let you see how those look when they arrive. I've also created a living your life game where basically you uh, draw cards. You're trying to avoid sins and gather virtue through your life uh, by utilizing the sacraments and praying and things like that. You're trying to use the virtue to get rid of your sin so that when you die, you will you will be able to go to heaven. So that game is coming out soon as well. It's in the mail right now. I'm waiting for it. And I also have Wordy Words, which is a Scrabble type game. Basically, imagine Scrabble without a board. So you have all your tiles, your letter tiles, all your bonuses, but there's no board. You play straight on the table and you can play off of other players' words, but everyone plays words in front of themselves. And then after the hand is over, after everyone's played two turns, you clear the board and you start over. So really, I created this game, Wordy Words, to avoid the blockage that always happens on a Scrabble board with four players. The board gets blocked up. It gets boring. Nobody can make a good move. Yeah, so Wordy Words, that's coming out very soon as well. But until next time, look out for those and look out for any other new things I'm doing at my website, sdkzen.com. And also stay Holy, my friends.